Many years ago, when I first started this journey, I had a question. I kept asking to myself over and over and over again, why is this stuff so hard to learn? Why was I not getting it? Why was I still failing with women when I was trying to do everything I could to understand women better? I was trying to figure out the right things to say. I was just trying to figure out the right questions to ask and none of it seemed to work. And it seemed like the harder I tried, the more I failed. And I worked on this for a long time, studied more, memorized more, you know, learned some patterns and routines and different things that they used to teach in the pickup days. And still, I just felt like I was weird. On the rare occasion it seemed to start working, it was a lot of work, it was effort. And when I ran out of material, I often ran out of conversation. I didn't know what else to say or what to do. And I realized there was just something wrong, something not right. Because when I hung out with my friends that were naturals, I began to realize they didn't need all that stuff. They just were themselves. They just expressed, they were just open. And I started asking even more questions. How, how do they do it? Why, why does it work for them when it didn't for me? I started seeking out more and more teachers. I left the dating community altogether and started finding teachers that really taught principles around consciousness, around being more present, about being in your body, about communicating from your body, about understanding your emotions and feeling. And that's when it all started to click. I was so analytical, I was so in my head, I was such a nice guy, I was so nervous, I was so scared that I was trying to seduce women with my analytical mind. But think about it for a minute. Can you analytically talk a woman into sleeping with you? Can you analytically talk a woman into liking you? The thought of it now is just ridiculous. The whole idea of it is ridiculous. I can't memorize a set of words and convince a woman to be attracted to me because I said those set of words. It's actually quite ridiculous when you think about it. What I finally realized after working with the right teachers was that it was more about who I was being, the emotions I felt while I talked to her, how present I was, how low in my body. Yeah, was I turned on while I talked to her so she could feel my turn on? Was I truly interested? Was I looking into her? Was I feeling her emotions while she talked? All stuff that comes from the body. You see, your body stores your emotions. Your body stores the feelings you feel, and it conveys them and it receives them. Not the analytical mind. The words are so secondary. They don't mean nearly as much as you think they do. You see, they say 93% of communication is nonverbal. I thought that number was bullshit for years even after I went through hypnosis school. But after learning all this subcommunication, working with deep levels of emotional embodiment, I began to realize that that number is super accurate and it could even be more. Look, if only 7% is the words and you're mastering the words and you're faking the emotions, you're way off on that equation. It's time to learn a better way. And I wanna invite you to come to the Fearless Man Live where we actually take a look at everything I just talked about. Do you want to learn body-based communication? Do you want to learn how to convey turn on from your body? How to step into your animal instincts? How it's all conveyed through your, see the, the feelings in your body, in your gut, are all conveyed through your subcommunication. The feelings in your body and in your gut are all conveyed through your subcommunication. In the way you speak, the way you look at somebody, the slightest glance, the littlest move. And that's driven by the feelings in your body. If you want to learn how all this works, you want direct demos on stage with me, with the fearless coaches and the fearless models, then this is an event for you. If you want to get on stage and actually do some of it yourself, this is an event for you. If you want to get your personal questions you've never been able to get answered before, or you want to solve this problem for you, this event is for you. If you're the quintessential nice guy and you want to learn how to get past it, you want to learn to let go of your nice guy behavior and start learning how to step into tension and becoming powerful and become powerful attention, then this event is for you. This is a powerful life-changing event where we teach you about emotional embodiment directly. We demonstrate it live. You see through the matrix when you come to this event. So if you're ready for a change, you're ready to seriously shift your life, then sign up for the Fearless Man Live today. Click on the link in this video and get started right away because men of action step into tension right away and that's why they get change. So I'll see you in person at the Fearless Man Live, answer your questions in person, and I look forward to meeting you. Remember, only the confident relates.